Today on WFMS, we have just a few reminders as we end our week. The Creative Writing Club meets Monday. D&D Club members, we have a reminder for you today. The Yoke Club will not meet Tuesday. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes and Teens for Christ will meet next week. We have a couple of sports updates for you today and special announcements. Do you have plans this weekend? Stay tuned for a weekend weather update to help you make your plans. We have a Christmas countdown and some shenanigans reminders for today. The WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm PT. And I'm Heidi. Welcome to your home for news, announcements, and more on WFMS. Now for today's news announcements. Now for our club reminders. The Creative Writing Club will be meeting on Monday from 345 to 430. This will be our last meeting for this school year. We will meet in Mrs. Allen's ELA room, Orange 254. We hope to see you there. We want to remind you that SCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, will meet every Tuesday from 7.50 to 8.20 in the Studio Theater. And TFC, Teen Sir Christ, will meet every Wednesday from 7.50 to 8.20 in the Studio Theater. There will be games, activities, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. All 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students are invited to join us, and we hope to see you there. If you have any questions, see our school counselor, Mrs. Wright, or Mr. Underwood, or Mr. Brewer. Do you enjoy a good board game? The board game and chess club will be meeting on Tuesday from Mrs. Link's room and Navy Pod from 345 to 430. Also make sure your ride here is promptly here at 430. See you then. If you attend the Yoke Club, please remember that there will be no Yoke meeting next Tuesday. Please make sure your parents are aware. D&D members, listen up. We want to remind you that the Dungeons & Dragons Club will be meeting next Tuesday. We will be meeting between 345 and 445. Please make sure your ride is here by 4.45. Our countdown of Christmas continues, and we have eight and a half school days until Christmas break. Our theme dress-up for the 12 days of Christmas holiday shenanigans continues, so remember that students can participate as well. We have eight days left, including today. If you've joined in on the theme dress-up fun, you can earn a chance to win classroom prizes as well. Please make sure to follow the dress code on these theme days, especially on Pajama Day. Remember, no face paint, masks, explicit language, or expressions on clothing. And also wear appro appropriate length attire, no sunglasses either. You just might have a chance to win class prizes and just participate each day of the theme. For our theme day today, today is holiday hat day. This should be interesting. Monday will be ho holiday pajama day, and Tuesday will be Grinch day. So break out the green stuff. It continues to be a fun week of dressing up. Lastly, we have a reminder for our eighth graders. Those elves are still hiding out all around the school, just waiting to be found, and we have a special announcement from Ms. Rancho's class about the 8th grade only Find the Elf Belt Contest. Let's take a listen. Santa ain't gonna give you this free. You're gonna have to earn it. This Christmas, 8th grade homeroom classes have the chance to win the 8th grade belt. Here are the rules. Each 8th grade homeroom teacher has 10 elves hidden around the school. But any 6th, 7th graders, if you take them, you're going on the naughty list. You and your classmates will have until Wednesday, December 13th, and this is not an excuse to walk the halls. Whatever homeroom collects the most elves wins. Any elves that you find, go return them to your homeroom teacher. Finding another teacher's elf your homeroom gets one point, but finding your teacher's elves, you get two points. This special reminder is for the teachers. If you tell where your elves are hidden, you are disqualified. Grown-ups can go on the naughty list too, you know. Get your sleigh bells ready. Good luck! Merry Christmas! We're having a blast searching for those elves, and all 8th grade classes want that belt. 6th and 7th graders, please remember not to touch or reveal the locations of any of the elves should you see one. This is an 8th grade only competition. This just in, tis the season. Candy cane sales will begin on Monday, and you may buy them in the front lobby each morning between 8 and 8.30.
they will go through uh, until Friday, December 14th. Candy canes are $1 each. You may buy them for friends or teachers, and you must know the person's name and homeroom pod. We're raising money for animal shelters. Last year, $225 was raised in the last fundraiser, and so we are trying to raise a total of $500 for the animal shelters this year, which will be $275 more than last. Lastly, candy canes will be handed out during homeroom on December 18th and 19th. Don't miss the opportunity to show someone how much you care this Christmas. That's it for our announcements. Now for our weekend weather update. See the sun in the sky. Let's have a good time. Life is going on. This is a brand new day. Let's be fine. Hi, I'm Gracie. And I'm Olivia. Now for our weekend weather update. Today started out in the mid-60s, but will warm up to the lower 60s with a mixture of sun and clouds throughout the day. Things begin to, ch begin to change tomorrow, and spotty showers are possible throughout the day Saturday, especially later in the afternoon to evening hours. Highs are in the mid-60s with winds kicking up ahead of our next cold front. Rain moves in overnight Saturday into Sunday. On Sunday, we'll hit our high of 57 in the morning and drop to the mid to upper 40s by the afternoon. Rain is likely throughout most of the day and tapers off by the afternoon to evening hours. As temperatures drop, the rain transitions over into a wintry mix to snow showers in the higher elevations Sunday afternoon to evening. As you approach the official first day of winter on the 21st, we begin to see temperatures drop into the upper 20s to lower 30s for lows to start out the next week. Highs are chilly in the upper 40s to the lower 50s with sunshine and dry days ahead. That's it for weather. Looks like you'll need some light and heavy jackets through the next seven days, and don't forget your umbrellas. You'll have to dodge the up and down weather patterns, but you should be able to get outside some this week. Now for a quick sports update. Hi, I'm Olivia. And I'm Heidi. Now for our sports brief. Our Admirals basketball teams took on Gresham at Gresham last night. Stay tuned for scores and updates on Monday, and we'll be ready to fill those stands when our Admirals come back home. We'll be taking on South Doyle on Monday night here at home, and we need you in the stands. Game times have changed for this Monday. Please be aware that games will begin at 5.30 this Monday, not 4.30. Hope to see you there. Now for a message for our, from our pep squad to get you pumped up and ready for Monday's games. What's up, Admirals? On December 11th to support your ads as they take on South Doyle. The theme will be Hawaiian night. Be there and be loud. Go Reds! Thanks for the information, guys, and getting us ready to show up and cheer hard as we continue supporting our ads this season. We hope everybody is ready to come out and cheer on our teams to victory. That's it for sports. Now back to the news desk for our morning corny and closing. Now for a morning corny as we close the broadcast today. Hey, Heidi, what do you call a baby snowman? I don't know what. A snowball. Okay, cute. Here's a good one. What do you get if Santa goes down the chimney when a fire is lit? Uh, I don't know. What? A crisp Kringle. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admiral's News Network. We hope you have a great weekend. Make good choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And, and we, we will see you on Monday. Monday.